So once you're done with all the setup process, you should end up with a screen like this where it is your lock screen. Then you can just press the button at the bottom to go into your home screen and this is your Kindle home screen. It has three different sections. First is your My Library, second is your Reading List and the third is your Amazon Suggestion List which keeps on changing based on the current book you're reading and also on the books you're buying and other stuff and also on your Amazon wish list. So the next thing that you see is the status bar which says My Kindle over here. You have the Wi-Fi sign, you have the battery indicator and you have the time indicator. Below that you get a control bar which I like to call the navigation bar because this is exactly what you will be using all the time to navigate throughout the device. So first is your home button which you can tap on to return to home from anywhere on the device. Next is your back button which is pretty self-explanatory. Next is your settings button which gives out to three different settings in which is your airplane mode which is to turn off Wi-Fi or turn on Wi-Fi. You can sync your Kindle with your Amazon account and also you can go into the all settings. So we'll come back to this later but before that there is a Goodreads tab which you can go into and this will take you to the Goodreads section provided you have already signed into your Goodreads account while setting up the account, setting up the device, sorry. So you get your updates, you get your shared books, you get recommendations based on people you follow and your friends on Facebook provided again you have connected your Facebook to your Goodreads account. Next you have the friend list for people who you have friends on Facebook who are also on Goodreads. So next is your profile account where you can see your profile, your reading list, your friend list and your recent updates as to what books you are currently reading or you want to read. The next is the Amazon store which is the actual Amazon store for Kindle ebooks. Like this is the place where you can buy any books or subscribe or unsubscribe to Kindle Unlimited Membership etc. As you can see these are the books recommended for you which are again Amazon recommendations based on your reading preferences. The next you get the categories of where you get all books and Kindle Unlimited for subscribing to Kindle Unlimited subscription and also to access the Kindle Unlimited library. Next you have your regional languages books you have books under 49 and then you have the 60 to 80 percent off section which is highly recommended because this section has a lot of books that come in very cheap and they do change in monthly as you can see it says Kindle Kindle monthly deals so this list does change from month to month and a very good titles are available at very cheap prices over here so we'll go back if you go down you can see the best sellers which are the best selling books on Amazon etc new releases and you can have more to explore where you can check out by genres so the next thing that you see is a search now this won't search your library as you can see it says search your kindle store so this is just used to search your the kindle store or books in the kindle store the next is your menu button which will have different options depending on where you are currently in the Kindle device. So since we are right now in the Amazon store, as you can see it's written up there on the status bar. So you get storefront, books, Kindle Unlimited, you get uh, certain sections of books, you can view your wish list, which will actually pop up the wish list that you have saved on Amazon.in or Amazon.com depending on whichever country you are. And as you can see, I would like to mention that I usually keep a separate wish list just for books. But you have to remember that even if you add physical copies of the books to your wish list, they won't show up on your Kindle. You have to add the Kindle editions from the Amazon store into your wish list for them to show up here. So the next thing that you can see is the gift card balance, which is exactly your Amazon Pay balance. Now it's highly recommended that you actually fill up your Amazon gift card balance before purchasing books because it's much more easier when paying for books. So we'll just head over back to the library section and the next thing that we'll check out is my library section where it is all the books that you have purchased or you have added from your Kindle Unlimited subscription or the PDFs or the .mobi files that you have actually sent to this device via your original Kindle email address. I have explained the whole thing about how to send your email documents to your Kindle on a different video which should pop up right about there. 
so you can check that out for more details. So the next thing that we'll do is actually go inside the book and check out how we can control inside the book, change font sizes, etc. So I'll just open up the book called Your Small SEO Guide. Okay. So this is the book, so this is the first page. You can tap anywhere on the left hand side of the book to go back to the previous page and you can tap anywhere on the screen to go back to the in front of the next page. So that's how you turn pages. You can also swipe this way to go back to the previous page or to the front page etc. Now as you can see all tables of contents in most books are linked so you can just tap on that to head over to that chapter directly. Now to go back home or to access other things you have to tap on the top of the book which will bring out your navigation or control bar. So there are some structures over here as you can see in the bottom it says site structure. So you can tap on that to quickly jump between different chapters in the book or different sections of the book so that is one way to jump between chapters you can also do that by going into go to section and selecting any item from the menu as it comes up or you can just tap on beginning to go back to the beginning of the book you can also bookmark your whatever you are reading so let's say you are on this page and you can tap on that and bookmark it so the next time when you open the book it will always open up to this page or even if you go to a different page and if you go here and click on bookmark again you will again come back to the page where you originally bookmarked so leaving that behind moving forward we can see that it's a AA sign here so you can tap on that to access how your book looks so you can change the font in which the text is displayed you can also change the text size in which the text is displayed from over here so that's upon your personal preferences or what you would like to choose so you have a specific set of fonts so there are around 10 fonts over here and around 6 to 7 text sizes that you can choose from you can also head over into the page section for the line spacing between the two lines as you can see the line spacing changes you can select different margins okay, from there you can select orientation to read it in landscape mode or horizontal mode and then there is the alignment where you can select so this book doesn't support it but most books do so you can choose the alignment in which you see so the reading progress you can select the location in the book where you are right now so we are at LOC 229 as you can see from there or you can see it select as to time left in the chapter and as you can see it changes down here below so we'll just keep it location in book because that's how I like it so the next thing you can do is you can jump to anywhere inside the book or from over here or you can tap the home screen to go back to your home screen. You can tap the back button again to come back to the, the, screen, the previous screen. So as you can see since we are in a book, the menu button options have changed. You can go to the Kindle store to directly uh, purchase new books. You can check out the vocabulary builder, you can check out settings and you can write down notes for this book. So, as you can see, we can highlight any word from the book, okay? So, when you highlight that, you can write a new note based on this part, you can highlight it, you can share it with other people, or you can see the meaning. Also, check out a Wikipedia item for that item, whatever you have highlighted, and also translation to certain languages. So that comes in pretty handy. You can also search for this book, you know, so you can search for certain texts for this book, and you can also search the Kindle store, etc. So now we'll check out the settings of this device in which you can customize the device to your for your own purposes. So the settings can be accessed via two places. The first is of course the settings icon over there and clicking on all settings. You can also access this via the settings option that is present in the handout menu. So as you can see these are the menu items or settings items that you have over here. So you have your my account, wireless, device options, reading options, language and dictionaries accessibility and parental controls the legal is not exactly a settings option but it gives you a few information or legal information regarding your device so the first thing is your my account where you can register or deregister from your amazon account you can connect to your social networks and of course you can see and change your personal information now as i said before if you purchase the kindle from a amazon website so you 
your Amazon account will come pre-registered on this device but if you see, buy it from a local retailer or an offline retailer you will have to sign in during your setup process. So going back we will go into the wireless section where you can select any of the wireless networks that you want to connect to that is available to you at that current location. So the third option is the device options where you can actually set up a password to keep your books and all your documents private. You can change your device time, you can change your device information, you can restart your device or reset your device and in the advanced option you have an option to hide the home screen view. So if you hide, if you switch it off, you can as you can see the home screen changes and you just get a list of all the books that is present in your library. I kind of like the home screen view so I'll just keep that on. There's whisper sync for books and there's also an option to delete all the passwords or the Wi-Fi passwords that your device or your Kindle has remembered until now. So going back one more time, there's the reading options which you can go into and there's an option called page refresh so sorry there's an option called page refresh which you can turn it on for refreshing the page when every page is turned in the book. There's an option called next series which is pretty handy. So if you're reading a book of a certain series, say a Harry Potter series or a Dan Brown series, it will just suggest the next book that you can read in that series when you are at the end of the previous book. So there's an option for language learning and there's an option for keeping your notes public or private etc. So we'll just head back and we'll go into accessibility. Now this is a page where you can connect to a Bluetooth speaker to actually help the Kindle read out the books present over on the device. As you know that this Kindle does not come with a speaker or an auxiliary port, so you have to connect it with a Bluetooth speaker to get audio output from this device. I have explained this whole process in a different video, so if you want to check that out, it will be linked up here, so you can just click on that and see how you can connect your Kindle to a Bluetooth speaker to actually get books spoken out to you. There's of course parental controls for people who are handing out your Kindle to your kid and you'd want to restrict the time in which your kid can actually read a book or use a book etc.